What's up everyone? Today I'll be showing you guys how to apply Silver Thermal Compound onto a 9600 GT GPU. As far as what you'll need, you'll just need a screwdriver, a towel, so Silver Thermal Compound, and your GPU. Also, some rubbing alcohol is optional, but recommended. So let's get started. Okay, so now what you want to do is just flip the card over, revealing the 12 screws underneath. And what you want to do is uh, unscrew these screws in a diagonal pattern across from each other so it relieves the tension evenly across the card. Okay, once that's done, just flip the card back over. Now what you will need to do is just apply a little bit of force on the end of the card, prying upward. And once it pops up, just slide the top of the card around underneath the little tab right there. There we go, and then just pop it up and over. And you got the top off. Okay, so now once you got your top off, what you want to do is look for dust. There's a ton of dust in this card. And uh, so what you want to do is get your paper towel, and you want to try to remove as much dust out of there as you can, because what the dust does is it sticks to your, your thermal compound, which then causes it to gunk up and uh, block airflow, which makes your card even hotter. So um, just try to get as much dust as there as you can. Okay, once you feel that you got most of the dust out, take your paper towel again and damp it with some rubbing alcohol and wipe off the re leftover compound that was originally on there on your top copper plate. Now what you want to do is just keep going until all of it's off and uh, it should look pretty shiny. It should look like a mirror. Kind of like, kind of like this. Okay, now for the GPU itself. What you want to do is pretty much the same thing as you did for the copper plate. Um, just take your paper towel again with a little bit of rubbing alcohol on there. And uh, just keep rubbing rubbing away at the GPU until all that excess thermal compounds off. Again, it should look really shiny when you're done. It should be a mirror mirror finish on there. I don't know if you could see it, but... Yeah, something like that. Okay, now it's time to apply the thermal compound. You do not need a lot of this stuff. If you put too much, um, it's not going to allow the heat to transfer to the copper plate, which get, makes your temps even go up even higher than they already are. So just put a little drop on there. And what you want to do is just get a little piece of plastic from like a pa plastic bag or something, cut the corner off, and uh, put it on your finger. This will create a smooth surface on your fingertip to uh, evenly spread the compound. What you just want to do is go in start by just covering up the whole GPU and then keep going over and over again until it's a thin layer on top of the GPU. Sorry my head's in the way, I did not know that. <laughs> just keep going Again, very thin layer. You know, you don't want a thick layer. Okay, that's what it should look like after you applied the thermal compound. Okay, now it's time to reassemble the card. Just simply flip the top back over, just how you like you took it off, and make sure the top slides underneath the tab and make sure it is seated flush to the board okay once you feel that it's right flip it back over make sure all the holes are lined up then just screw in all the screws again and remember in a directional pattern okay once you have all the screws back in flip the card back over and you are finished thank you so much for watching please comment rate subscribe if you have any questions send me a pm or leave a comment thank you